Hello everybody! Today we are going to be having an attempt at playing Transfer. This is a hammerization by Lassie of an original puzzle design by the famous Demon Arisen. So a very big thank you to Lassie for creating, sharing and recommending this one. As well of course a very big thank you to the famous Demon Arisen for being seemingly the Portal community's most prolific, prolific map creator. That name is literally everywhere. Uh, I do see that you say next test chamber that away. However, being a hammer map, that means I immediately want to try the opposite direction's door. Which was a complete waste of time. Fine, I will follow the indicated sign. No, I won't. I'll try this one first. Okay, also completely waste of time. I will try the indicated signage, which takes us apparently to the main line, which apparently is an open pit. Are you going to open for me? You do. Down into a rather dark corridor where things spark and things get ominously shaky. And my frame rate drops ever so slightly. Now, I know my computer and how it handles this game. That usually means something big just loaded behind that door. Something very big and impressive. And if the workshop thumbnails... Ooh, colour change doors. And if the workshop thumbnails are anything to go by, yes, this is going to be a rather impressive one, which apparently features the bouncy blue stuff. Do you like those colour change doors? Yes, here it is. Here's what I was looking for from the workshop thumbnails. Transfer in all of its huge, vast, don't worry, I won't be overusing that word today, vast, vast, vast glory. There you go, got my quota in. Uh, there is our exit directly over there, but as you can see, we are somewhere very deep and intimidating in the bowels of Aperture. I love the lighting in here already. Glorious, this is clearly a very skilled hammer creation. And it also features a Demon Arisen puzzle, which means this could take anywhere up to an hour or longer, so you have been warned. Uh, Demon Arisen puzzles I tend to usually struggle with. They kind of hurt my head. Uh, there's a protruding panel here, and you mention light bridges, which is clearly very important because you line up perfectly with our exit over there. Everybody make a note of this. This panel is important. Hopefully we'll get to see it used again sometime in the next hour or so. Uh, we can go around this way. There's a bit of a protrusion here. That fizzler would have blocked us, so this is for getting on a light bridge. Also very important, still feel like we're miles away from it yet. And the rest of our chamber appears to be over there. We've got an angled panel, some panels there, lasers, button mounted into the wall. I am a fan of the stacked observation rooms. And yeah, this is a map where we need to look everywhere, right? Because the amount of detail means there could be something very cool hidden literally anywhere. And I like finding those things, so what can we actually get to then? Uh, there's panels we can access down there and here. These ones, however, appear to be above a certain drop to one's death, so let's go ahead and use the safer option over that way. And we can go back to... Hold on one sec. Nope, I always have to test that these days. Uh, we can go via you, gets us down into here, where the majority of the science appears to be positioned. So what have we actually got then? Whizzing tube with cube delivery mechanism attachment button here, this button, this button, this button, creates a nicely animated wave of panelled platform floorage all the way over there, where apparently there's even more chamber. Is that where we came in? That our entrance door right there. Okay, so there's more chamber tucked behind where we came in. It does have panels, but they appear to all be behind glass. Bunch of panels here, angled panel, angled in a way that suggests we're going that way at speed at some point. There's a laser over here, and you're telling me to use light bridges around here as well. Well, as soon as I find one, I'll get right on that. Uh, there's some more tube delivery gel over there. Laser panels. That looks like it might lift up, right? That's got something going on there. Laser emitter and laser receiver right next to it. And apparently the laser receiver does free things. Free things. Oh, hold on. Oh, that so looked like a panel. Okay, I mean, it's even highlighted, like, look at me, I'm a panel. Nope, never mind. Um, right, what are we doing then? Where do we even begin? We haven't looked around this end. This end has a button. This button gets rid of this fizzler, which will give us portable access via this kind of area, where we have actually managed to find a light bridge. The all-important light bridge. And yeah, where do those go then? They just appear to run off into the darkness. Yeah, okay, fine. The light bridge does have a panel directly opposite. 
as all good light bridges tend to do, meaning we can use it somewhere else. And we're going to need that pretty much where we started, hopefully within the next hour or so. Uh, pressing you, pressing you, pressing you also gets rid of that fizzler over there, apparently. Which actually is really useful, because that's the only way we can get back, isn't it? So, we use those panels at the back there and you. And we get a double tier light bridge kind of setup, which means we can get back to here. And from up here, what else can we get to? A faith plate. A faith plate, which has ramp access. So where do you faith plate me to? You faith plate me directly into the ceiling, inducing slight concussion. Yep, that appears to be what that's for, so... This is where we'll do most of our thinking. Ah, it gives us a view over the side here, though. Look, you can clearly get a view there for access to that panel. Uh, let's get off of there for the moment. What else can we get to? It's got a panel. That panel lines up over there with the cube delivery tube. Are those panels doing something weird? There was definitely something going on lighting-wise there for a moment. Is that just source being source? I think that's source being source. Uh, you, though, appear to line up over there. So how do we activate that cube delivery tube? Because with access to this light bridge, we could get over there, right? So is there a button somewhere that we need to get to to actually deliver us a cube? Cubes tend to be very, very important. Uh, there was this button here, wasn't there? You. In a very dodgy place to put a button, okay. Um, well, you line up, so what have I got there? Blue off of you. Would definitely let us get to that button, so I need to be able to go back via you, which we can do with turning off this. However, when I get off of that, that's no good. So is there a way to use what we could see over this faith plate jump? I can't, like, jump that way. We could uh, recapture the light bridge from here, though, couldn't we? Through that little gap. And then how to actually get onto it from over there. Is that what this is for? Would that launch us up onto there? It's a very aggressive faith plate. Which I think is actually going to be for getting us over there at some point. Somehow. That possibly flips round by the looks of it. So I just need to get to this button. Um, well, there is one thing we could do. It seems wrong, though. Right? Diagonal light bridges out of angled panels never quite seems right. But it will give us access to this. So this could be entirely wrong, but I'm going to make use of it. Drop onto you here, which is the perfect level for getting at this. Which apparently will deliver us a cube out of the tube we were looking at. It's a laser reflection one. Great news, we've got a laser. And now we just want to go grab that. I can grab that using the faith plate and that existing panel out of you, right? If we do that one there. However, I've just realised I put a light bridge in my way, so let's get it out of the way there. And if I can time this right, we can bounce up and put it underneath us. Like so. That gives us access across to actually get hold of a cube. And then we need that cube, probably more importantly than anything else, to do laser redirection stuff. Uh, let's grab it off of here. Now, do we want to put it there? I did see another option for a place to put it, though. If we put the blue here, is that a good height for laser redirection? That appears to be... not appears to be, it is clearly way too high, so it's got to be that bit of floor there. So I want to get this laser reflection cube onto there past that gap, which is probably accessible via a light bridge, but we do have to go through a fizzler to get anywhere near that. I'm thinking the blue gel tubes are decorative now because I'm not seeing anywhere that would actually deliver them. There is a bunch more chamber going on up there as well. So if we head over that way now, how do we do that? We could put you on the button, which will get rid of this fizzler and allow us to keep our portals giving us access. And then we can get back using those panels there. So via this, uh, then I'm starting to think that those actually indicate things that move, which would make sense. That tends to be how it is in this game. But I mean, things with the laser signage next to it? Can't see where else those would go to. So if we come over this way and across this gap, that's what I was talking about. See how they've got laser signage there? 
Maybe that indicates that's activated by those. We will find out, hopefully, pretty soon. Uh, if we use these panels here now then, does it matter which one I use to get back? Uh, well, those over there would actually make the most sense, since that's the same level as the cube. We can grab you off of here. This fizzler comes back. I don't think we need to worry about that for the moment. We can take this around here and line it up with you and find out what your free scientific properties actually are. You're in there. Uh, I heard you. Yep, definitely one of you. So that's one. What else have you done? Ah, well, you've done something rather inconvenient, haven't you? You've taken the light bridge away entirely because it's a demon arisen puzzle and there's a clever logic swap at some point, which will be the point in the video where everyone clicks off. What else have you done? Is the source engine being source engine with all the piston panels? Just the lighting being a bit weird. Um, so what else did you do? We've got one, two things. There's a third thing. That's new. Have you moved that panel there? Okay. So scientific things of properties that does. One, the light bridge. Two, that thing. And that panel up there. So let's go see what happened with that panel up there. You stay there for the moment. Yeah, I'm guessing so anything with the laser receptor sign next to it is where actually gets interacted by that laser receiver. Which if I'd been paying attention, we would have noted there's one there. So that is the third thing. It's flipped that panel down, which is now perfectly positioned. I was assuming it'd be that one, but it's now perfectly positioned for flinging oneself, right? Over in that kind of direction via you. But you exist, which would suggest you definitely need to be up or we're going to be flinging into doom. Yeah, so we need the cube for that, right? We need the cube back over here to hold that button down. But if I have the cube back over here, we don't actually have access to you? Is that a permanent thing now? Are those, are those changes permanent? Or if I move the cube off of that receptor, is everything going to set back to how it was? Um, kind of want to find that out before flinging to one certain doom. There, look. They're doing it again. Every time I'm looking away in my peripheral vision, the lighting messes me up. Um... You know what actually makes more sense? The fact that quick save exists, and we can just see if this is certain doom. So drop through to you. Are you actually going to make it? There's a tiny bit of floor. And we do actually make it here. Okay, so what is the extending floor for? I assume that was to catch us. Actually, no, it's to go back that way, isn't it? Yeah, with the extended floor up, we can go back to where we started this bit of the chamber, and that looks like it will get us back into the room with the protruding light bridge placement panel. So what can we get to up here? Non-functioning ladders. Uh, we can get in here apparently. Which is how we can access these panels which can only be accessed from up here. So yeah, there's going to be some sort of clever cube in hand back and forth. With a swap around that I can't quite interpret for the moment. Uh, is there anything else we can do up here? Can I use those? You can put a portal on those high up panels, which would let us get back into that room as well, which we can do from in here. So from up here, I don't want to jump in there just yet. From up here, we can access in there and we can access down there. You can actually access all the way down to there as well. Yeah, okay, so there's something multi-tiered level swap around. Uh, where do we actually want to go from here then? What would be the point of going back into you? If we are supposed to go back into you, I think we're supposed to do it by this raising platform. Maybe we're not supposed to be able to put a portal through that gap? Keep in mind it exists though. Let's go back to the middle bit there then, via these. Oh, hello. I didn't even notice you'd gone down. When did you go down? Why, why did you go down if you're just going to come straight back up? Is that different from up here? Yeah, okay, you flip around depending on where I am. As if by magic or as if triggered by a special trigger brush. Probably, probably the latter. Um, so we need to get the light bridge back into that space there that we can access 
back into, which makes sense when you think about it, and just use the light bridge to get across. So to get the light bridge again, that cube has to come off there. But if that cube comes off there, we lose access to up the top section. Unless we left a portal up there. And just did the whole, like, switch back on yourself thing. So to leave a portal up there, but have a cube here... That would let us, like, casually walk back into that area, which makes more sense. But we do need the cube for that. So to get the cube... You're up whilst that's activated. And there's panels around there. Okay, I know where to do the switch thing. Um, Let's get back up the top there, then. We should have used those from up the top, right? If we come back up to here and we move the blue, hopefully it's in range... I mean, it should be. We can hit the moon with this bloody thing. Move the blue all the way down to there. That lets us get back to this level where we can grab the cube again. But then why do I want to move the cube up to the top? I was just talking about the fact that we don't want the cube up the top. We want it on that button. Uh, that's probably where we do the switch around thing, right? So if we put the blue on you and take you up to the top... Leave you there for the moment. Uh, the light bridge should be back, so let's put the blue back onto that level now. Bring you down here. You flip back up, meaning I'm possibly supposed to launch that way again. But we don't have access to it via the fave plate anymore. You. You sit there. Which flips all of those up, however the last one just didn't want to play along for whatever reason. Uh, that brings those up, meaning if we go back up the top there, we can casually, casually walk back into the starting area. Can we just double check that's not going to, like, flip down and kill me? For some reason, this end one didn't want to comply. That does... Oh, hold on. Coffee cup. Oh, I want to check that off the edge. Uh, this lets us walk back into the star area here. And from the star area here, that's where we can get back into here to leave a portal on you to reacquire the light bridge. So where did I leave that other portal for the moment? That other portal is... Is it on the middle section? I can't see. Uh, yes, it's on the middle section, which is the one I want, because that's where the light bridge access is. So let's move the orange onto you. Like so. Then I guess we don't need that platform anymore? Because now it makes sense that you can come off of there and you can actually go ahead and sit on this one instead, right? And the light bridge is in fact back. So if we've got the orange up there, is that it then? We put the blue on you? That can't be that simple. This is a demon arisen puzzle. Either I'm getting slightly better or this isn't actually a particularly hard one and my ego is inflating for no reason. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Because that will let us get all the way over to the exit. Not via the Fizzler, of course. But by this little bit of a uh, diving board here. Will let us quite happily jump onto you. Where we can go over the giant drop to death. All the way to the exit. Is that actually the end? Beautiful lighting. Is that actually the end? I'm quite impressed I was able to solve that. Usually I really, really struggle with Demon Arisen's puzzles. Uh, that drops us into here. Now bear in mind, this is a hammer map. Anything could happen now. It appears to keep going into a lovely curved corridor. It's a lovely smooth curve you managed in here. Although, hold on. I'm sorry, these are in completely the wrong place. If someone had to have a chair, had to wait in here long enough that they need a chair, there's no way they'd face this way. I'm going to look at this dripping water. Why wouldn't you look at that? I know I'd sit here and stare at that quite happily whilst waiting for whatever it is people wait around in Aperture for. We keep going, don't we? Okay, there's even more yet. Doors to try, you don't have a handle, but worth trying. I see you illuminated, that is probably the end of the map. But first, I'm going to try you. No, okay, right, fine. Uh, is this actually the dramatic transition to the credit scene? Oh, it's one of those diagonal elevators like uh, Black Mesa like to use. I don't often see those in, used in Aperture. You're very dramatic about your uh, leaving, aren't you? Are we are we done? Anytime you feel like it. Yeah, okay, here we go. Right. 
We're going to dramatically fade to black, indicating the end of the map, aren't we? That was really cool. I love the beautiful artwork style in there. Oh, hello. Thank you. Now I can read on my elevator journey. Ah, there we go. The actual end. That was Transfer, a map by Lassie, who did the beautiful hammer work in that one, based on a puzzle design by Demon Arisen. So a, a very big thank you to both Lassie and Demon Arisen for a beautiful map with a very satisfying to finally figure out puzzle. So yeah, that's the end of that one. I think I'm going to go find that one special brownie I've been holding on to, head back, sort out those chairs and enjoy the view. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.